Hello everyone, and welcome back to the weird wacky world of Wobble Dogs, where we are putting on our safety goggles and lab coats, carrying on with our laboratory experiments, and today I am so excited- What are you doing, banana na 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 Oh my gosh! Don't just grab a lot's tail like that, you silly little pancake dog! <laughs> But all right, so welcome back everybody. Today I am so excited because I have finally decided what project we are going to be working on next. And it is actually one that I think many of you are going to be extremely excited about. My friends, the time has come to see if we are going to be able to push the achievements down to seriously unstable. Yes, after completely agonizing about it for way too long, I have decided that we will work on getting all of the genetics on all of these other wobble dogs, like trying to get the multiple legs with the chrysalises, trying to go ahead and get our tiny pixel puppies, trying to go ahead and see what happens if you give, oh, Raindrop, are you stuck? There you go. I think Raindrop's tail actually got stuck between these dog memorials, which is a little ironic. Um, oh, that beautiful long tail. I can't wait to try to make that tail even longer. Oh, Raindrop, you have such a pretty tail. Um, but but even though we have all of these really cool genetic projects going on with our wonderful wacky wobble dogs, there are still weirder, weirder genes for us to discover. So with that in mind, I want to go ahead and work on trying to get to Seriously Unstable. And that's going to be very exciting as well because there has been an update. As of like the time you guys are going to see this, it'll be an update from last week. Are you two like biting each other? But you're having a good time? Oh, oh, I don't know if that's a good time for what, Broccoli? I'm watching you. Wait, is what just- what's getting like his tail bitten by banana -na -na -na, and he's getting bitten- what? He- okay, actually they're all playing, I guess. I guess I'll go ahead- oh, look, he bit back! Fine, if that's how it's gonna be, I'm just gonna praise all of you guys. Like, fine, if you're all having a good time. This is so cute that they're so social with one another. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, look at banana -na -na -na, just cling to Watt's tail. <laughs> Broccoli and banana -na 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 are just like clinging to Watt's tail. This is so freaking cute. Okay, maybe Watt's a little bit done with this. There you go, Watt. There you go. Um, however, that, it, that did help uh, Broccoli lose a tooth. So we'll send that over to the boneyard. Oh my word. All right, so they just literally, I think Broccoli or what, literally just ate the teeth out of one or the other of the dog's mouths. But na 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 na! <laughs> what is going on with this pancake dog? You have the small, what is happening with his face? Look at his face, do you guys see his face stretching? His face is just stretching into infinity. What are you, are you like half of a taffy dog? What is going on? <laughs> Oh, I can't tell who's biting who. Is it Broccoli? Oh my gosh, now Broccoli's having a turn of getting like bitten by all of the dogs. Why are you three so ridiculously precious? But no, 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 I think your face is being stretched into like infinity, but they're all having such a great time. Who am I? Who am I to judge this chaos? Somebody decided they're having such a great time from all of this that they laid, like they, they literally ended up laying a capsule that has insert wallpaper. Fine, fine. You guys are clearly just having the best time in the world. Um, that's adorable, so freaking adorable. Um, but, look at how they just, oh my gosh. Fine, normally I scold the dogs when like they bite each other, but never mind. It seems like this is the activity that they are just thriving with. And I love how these three are like best friends. That is life. That is just such, I'm, I'm totally here for that. Um, and now Banana -na -na is biting broccoli again. Okay, that's fine. You guys are way too cute. Uh, but all right. So yes, what we're gonna do is we are going to try to push the breeding beyond anything we've ever done with Seriously Unstable because apparently dogs can now have two heads. Yes. They can have multiple heads now, which has apparently been something that's always been kind of tucked really deep inside of their genes, but it didn't really become self-evident as often as like it could. And now due to the update from last week, it's there and we just haven't bumped into it yet. So I really want to try to prioritize getting that achievement, which means we'll be focusing on our random puppers out of everything. Also, I think I need to be, oh, you guys don't have any food. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm a little bit behind on making sure everybody has enough food. Um, 
you know what? I'm gonna roll a dice to see what kind of food I should get them. It says the normal food and we'll give them one of the normal food and one of everything in the jungle dispenser then. And we'll see how that works out. Uh, all right, and I'll just, eh, eh, how often to press the button, who knows? Maybe one, two, three, because there's three dogs of everything. That seems fair. And then we'll just see if maybe one of these jeans ends up like taking over. This is like some sort of terrifying fast food delivery system. Would, would you be disturbed if like they could 3D print food like in the future? And so you could just go and you'd be like, yeah, I'd like my uh, my vegan chicken nuggets, please. And then it'd just be like, beep, beep, beep. I mean, that's how it works in real life. Beep, beep, beep. We just don't see it. Huh. All right. So we have a big pile of what basically equivalates to junk food over there now. All right. I'll go ahead and remove that real quick. And then we'll come over here. <gasps> I want that celery stick so bad. I have no idea when we're gonna get that celery stick though. All right, one, two, three. Coconut, one, two, three. Cut fruit, one, two, three. Honeycomb, one, two, three. Whoops, I think I did four. Yeah, that's fine. Yay, good job, Broccoli. You managed to find your way to the food pile. Kind of relieved about that, to be honest. All right, we'll go ahead and get rid of that so we can just have more room for the puppies to play. Uh, but all right, so now that I've decided that we're gonna go for that kind of breeding experiment, the next thing we need to do is actually put all of our other current experiments in storage more or less for now. I think we'll leave Raindrop in here to just like carry on with Raindrop's like guardian of the dogs area until Raindrop's an adult, that's fine. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and move all of these little pups. Oh, Trouble, oh, why are they so cute? Oh, Cheddar, oh my gosh, playing over here. Look at Pebble playing with this, I love them. But we're gonna go ahead and put the Pixel Puppies into storage for now. Uh, it seems like they're doing better now that we have gone ahead and we have put, what is the, uh-oh, can I not? Uh-oh, I can't click on the gravitation thing right now. Huh, well, we'll work and see if we can fix that later. Um, should I finish pup baiting? Cheddar, do you need, okay, you do need some food. I have now covered you, okay, like literally a whole bunch of coconuts just rained down from the sky on top of you. Cheddar, what are you? Are you a teen? Do you know? Juvenile, okay, Cheddar's a juvenile. These two are adults. Um. No, I think we'll go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna store all of our pixel puppies really quickly. That's really hard to do because okay, you get praised. I don't know for what, and then we're gonna store you for now. That's oh <gasps> banana no 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 banana no 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 hang in there. We need to try to breed you. Okay, we're actually gonna store banana no 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 as well. Um, and then, oh my gosh, raindrop. I need to, oh I need to feed raindrop too. This is why we're gonna temporarily slow things down for a little bit. Um, and not have quite so many dogs to take care of so that I can take good care of- Leafeon, why are you starving to death? Are you stuck in a corner? And you- and apparently, thank you guys for letting me know this, the chrysalis DNA, the- the genes don't last forever. So what actually happens is you can end up having a bunch of the- the like chrysalis DNA we're trying to grab. Look, like nothing's in here even though we've been feeding so much of it. I think- yeah, there's like nothing from the chrysalis stuff that we've been trying to do. And that's because it does not have a very long lifespan. I didn't think the gut biomes would have a long lifespan or short lifespan or any kind of lifespan, but they do. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and store our caterpillars for right now. Um, in fact, I might go ahead and have them maybe puppet. How many more puppets do you have, Celery? You are a young adult. All right, and meanwhile, Leafeon, you're a teen. Hmm, so we're gonna go ahead and store, okay, praise, cause that's adorable that you're biting the little toy. And then I, I hate to do this, but we're gonna go ahead and store celery. I really hate to do that though, because I love how he's having a celery line, but it, it's just for a little while, friends, just for a little while. I wanna fill this place up with um, things that they can puppate with. And we'll go ahead and, and have Leafeon maybe eat this. Leafeon, if you could just go ahead. Because apparently what you want to do, the method to do this, is to feed them cocoons right before they, they like, puppate. Like a whole bunch of them. Oh, I just smacked you in the face with that. I'm sorry. You want to feed them, like, a whole bunch of cocoons. So we're going to we're gonna try this with Leafeon. 
We're gonna eat a whole ton of cook. Oh no, we lost all that bacteria. Ah, uh, maybe I should have stopped while we were ahead. Fooey, okay, yeah, that's the problem. So now we lost all of that gut bacteria. You really have to manage it very carefully. And I'm not gonna overfeed Leafeon now. Let's try pup baiting. And we'll just see if that maybe got us some extra legs or not. Um, because that's what the chrysalis are, are supposed to do. And because we know that now, I want to get a huge pile of chrysalis before we go ahead and try our caterpillars again. But for now, we'll leave Leafeon in Cocoon. Um, and oh, Tiny the Second came out to play with Raindrop. That's adorable. Uh, Raindrop, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. Raindrop, I'm going to go ahead and feed you. Maybe one of these baby teeth. And we might puppet Raindrop as well, because Raindrop is actually... We'll praise you. Oh, you're sick! Good! Oh, good job, Raindrop! Your little pets! Little pets! Oh, look at that beautiful fancy tail wiggle! Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll puppet Raindrop too. That sounds fair. Alright, there we go. Phew! Okay, so next up, what I think we really want to do is try to turn these guys into adults um, fairly quickly so that maybe we can breed them with banana -na, -na, na because banana -na, na only has a little bit longer left. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. And meanwhile, our glutton dog has been eating tons of things and throwing up, so I gotta clean this up. Oh, broccoli, you're, no, get out of the, broccoli, please. That's disgusting. Please let me clean up this puke. There we go. All right, yeah, like, because Watt, if you remember, is a um, a glutton, so he really overeats a lot. Oh, look at how Broccoli's just chilling with that corn dog. Why are, what, what, are you stealing that corn dog straight out of Broccoli's mouth? They're fighting over the corn dog. <laughs> what, you little troublemaker. Okay, you're going to pup bait. There we go. And I'm actually going to pup bait Broccoli in just a second, too. All right, but I'm going to praise you first because you're adorable and trying to, like, hoard your food. Go ahead and eat the food, because you've already got your, like, mouth on it. If I can just grab you, eat it. And we'll praise you for that. Good job, good job, Broccoli. All the praise. And you want some pets? There we go. All right, and let's go ahead and puppy Broccoli. And give those little pets. Oh, I love this so much. All right, so now everybody is safely and securely. Look at the size of Broccoli's cocoon. It's like, oof. Trying to get up there is hard. So we're actually, oh, they're even buddies while they're puppeting. Why is that so cute? They're kind of like wiggling against each other, oh. So now that we've done all of that, friends, we're gonna add in another random element. And that is actually a new dog that actually has been submitted by one of our amazing patrons, Annie. And Annie made a really fun dog called Weber that I know nothing about other than the fact that we're gonna now invite Weber into the family. Cause we're gonna start, we have room now to start adding in a few more dogs. So I might invite in Weber and then I might invite in like one more dog and then we'll try doing that breeding. So let's see who Weber is. Is this, <gasps> Weber! Oh my gosh, Weber, look at all the tails. <gasps> Weber is actually perfect to go hang out with Raindrop. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, there's so many tails. Yes, we have like all of the tails in the world. A lays about who's polite and peaceful. Doesn't Weber just look perfect? Okay, I per like I was going to put Weber in with the random dogs. No, no, no. We're actually going to send Weber. Precious, beautiful Weber. How old are you? A puppy. Oh, yep, he's already floating. That's okay. You're going to get used to it, Weber, because we're sending... Oh, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? <laughs> he looks like a little turtle that, like, has fallen on its back. Okay. All right. Down you go. Look at him! I love him! Oh, Weber! Welcome! Welcome! Giving you some long tails. He's so perfect to be walking amongst our ghosts. Thank you so much, Annie. This is a perfect addition to our little family. He's already digging! Or she, or they, or whatever we want to go ahead. Like, honestly, Wobble Dogs have fluid genders as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yay! Good job digging! Maybe I can praise you to do that and you guys can have all sorts of fun digging up bones in the boneyard. Uh, Alright, so I think we're feeding these guys garlic bread. Um, so let me go ahead. I'm going to build 
Oh, this is so cool. Okay, garlic bread's not in here. Garlic bread is in a suburban food dispenser. And then we'll see how Raindrop likes having a new friend. Okay, big nose and big tail. Yes, we can actually mouse over the um, the bacteria now and it will tell you what it will give you, which I love. So we're gonna get big nose, big tail with all of that garlic bread. All right, now we'll pop over here, remove the food dispenser. I wonder, like, it'd kind of be cool to make a kitchen and just have like some puppies playing in the kitchen. And then let's hatch Raindrop to have companionship. And we'll see how these guys play together. Raindrop, welcome! You're a teeny or you're a young adult now. Body size and snout length have gone down. Nose size has gone way up. And look how glossy the nose is. <laughs> Raindrop has like some sort of amazing opal on its nose now. It's got like a little pearly nose. That's so cool. A new little ghost dog. Welcome, Weber. Hang on, I wanna come over and see how you're doing. Oh, this is perfect. I think that Raindrop is gonna be very excited to have a new friend to play with. Um, grab it, pray, oh my gosh. We'll have to figure out how to get them to play together. But all right, guys, so this is very exciting. Our little ghost dog's immediately going to work on this garlic bread, which is fantastic. Raindrop went and ate its chrysalis before I could get it in time and is very proud about that. And bouncing, so I can only assume that it's happy to have like a new companionship but we'll we'll actually have these two be our ghost dogs for a little bit because that's just absolutely perfect oh look at that and actually we do happen to have spots on raindrop oh, this is gonna be so fun can you imagine if they have curly tailed puppies okay that's fantastic oh ooh! and randy just came out to play hey buddy good job on the levitating bye bye he's just he's, he's floating in space there you go <laughs> but all right guys so thank you did Raindrop always have six legs? I think so. So thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our brand new garlic bread hoarding little Weber, who is a perfect ghost dog. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, oh, there goes a piece of dirt, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. Oh, and Raindrop's stuck again. There you go, Raindrop. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys.